Hello, everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to do part two of adverbs of time. Why? Because there was a lot of information in the last class, and I want to make sure that you have it all perfectly down. Do you remember what those four adverbs of time words were? Let's get started and learn some more. So welcome again, today's lesson, part two, review and quiz, adverbs of time, just, yet, already, and still. So let's review adverbs of time how to use them. This is just a quick review so we can start on the quiz right away. So get your pen and paper and your water. How to use just. Just means a short time ago. We have just started this class. Now remember, we use just between has or have and the main verb. Yet is used to talk about something which is expected to happen. It means at any time up to now. It is used in questions and negatives. For example, have you been to the beach this summer yet? No, I haven't been to the beach this summer yet. We use yet at the end of a sentence. Already is used to say that something has happened early or earlier than it might have happened. For example, I have already been to the beach this summer. We use already between has or have and the main verb. Still is used to talk about something that hasn't finished, especially when we expected it to finish earlier. For example, the pizza we've ordered still hasn't arrived. We use still after the noun or the noun clause, okay? We can also say, I still haven't arrived to the train station, okay? You notice still is after I, which is the pronoun, okay? So this is a really good recap or review of how to use adverbs of time for just, yet, already, and still. Still could also be used as not yet, okay? So if you don't really like hasn't finished, we can say not yet. Many people say this, okay? I still haven't gone to the store yet. Okay, see I'm emphasizing, okay. Now, just for fun quiz, are you ready? Okay, now how would we complete the right adverb of time word using still, already, yet, and just? You notice here, still is not finished or not yet. Already is earlier, yet is any time up to now, and just is a short time ago or a moment ago or just a few seconds ago. This is just to help you remember the words, okay? So what would be correct here? We have still bought our first car. We have already bought our first car. 
we have yet bought our first car, or we have just bought our first car. Which one? Just. We have just bought our first car, okay? A short time ago. So it's good to look at the picture, okay? This will help you complete the sentence. So good job. I blank haven't found my wallet. I still haven't found my wallet. I already haven't found my wallet. I yet haven't found my wallet or I just haven't found my wallet. Which one? I still haven't found my wallet, okay? Not finished or not yet, okay? Now, if I were to use not yet, this is the bonus. Instead of using still, how would I use not yet in the sentence or I haven't found my wallet. <gasps> what comes at the end? Remember? Okay, that's your bonus. Put it in the comments. Now look at the picture. Have you done your homework blank? Have you done your homework still? Have you done your homework already? Have you done your homework yet? Have you done your homework just? Which one? Yet, okay. What, is, what does yet mean? Anytime up to now. Have you done your homework yet? Okay, it's still acceptable to say, have you done your homework? Yet, it's just an adverb of time and to put emphasis, okay? Good job. How about this one? I have blank driven a sports car. It was last year. I have still driven a sports car. It was last year. I have already driven a sports car. I've yet driven a sports car or I have just driven a sports car. Which one? I have already driven a sports car. Now, if you're not sure why it was already, it's because it means earlier. It was last year. Okay, it's still acceptable to say, I have driven a sports car. It was last year. Already is just an emphasis where it's an adverb of time. We are putting an emphasis on the time of when we drove the sports car. We drove it last year, okay? How about this one? The workers have blank arrived. The workers have still arrived. The workers have already arrived. The workers have yet arrived. Or the workers have just arrived. This is a tricky one. Now look at the words here. What could it be? The workers have just arrived. Why? It was a short time ago. It just happened. Okay, it happened just moments ago, a few seconds ago, okay? Some people do say already, but that meant it happened a little bit a while ago, maybe more than a half an hour ago or more than an hour ago, okay? What about this one? I blank haven't got that information. I still haven't got that information. I already haven't got that information. I yet haven't got that information or I just haven't got that information. This is a little tricky. Okay, what did you get? I still haven't got that information. What does that mean? Not finished. I still haven't got that information. Remember, it goes after the noun. Good job. 
Uh-oh, what's going on here? She hasn't phoned me still. She hasn't phoned me already. She hasn't phoned me yet. She hasn't phoned me just. Okay, what could it be? Yet. She hasn't phoned me yet. Why is it yet? Because it was any time up to now means she hasn't done it, but she plans to, and hopefully she does. Now it's still acceptable to say she hasn't phoned me, but we are saying yet because we are expecting it. Now, why is it yet at the end? Because it's any time up to now and it's at the end of the sentence. Good job. What about this one? No, thanks. I blank had breakfast. It was early this morning. Okay. No, thanks. I've still had breakfast. No, thanks. I've already had breakfast. No, thanks. I've yet had breakfast. No, thanks. I've just had breakfast. Okay. This is tricky. Now think of the end, this last sentence. There's two sentences. Well, there's three sentences here. Would I say still, already, yet, or just? It was early this morning, so what could it be? Already. No, thanks. I've already had breakfast. It was early this morning, okay? It was earlier. Remember what I've means, okay? I've is I have, okay? I have already had breakfast. It was early this morning, okay? You're starting to get the hang of it now. Good job. What about this one? Silly, look at what you've blank done. What now? Uh-oh. Silly, look at what you've still done. Silly, look at what you've already done. Silly, look at what you've yet done. Silly, look at what you've just done. What now? Hmm, what could this be? Okay, now we know it's not yet because yet goes at the end of the sentence. Okay, so now we have to think about what is the sandwich? Remember the one that goes between has and have and the main verb? Okay, clue, that's your clue. What could it be? Silly, look at what you've just done. What now? It just happened. It happened a short time ago or a moment ago or seconds ago. Okay, did you get it? Good job. What about this one? I can't believe they blank haven't finished that game. I can't believe they still haven't finished that game. I can't believe they already haven't finished that game. I can't believe they yet haven't finished that game. I can't believe they just haven't finished that game. What could it be? I can't believe they still haven't finished that game, okay? Can't, still is in between can't, they, and haven't. Do you know why? Why it's still? Because it's not finished, okay? See, gave it away. I can't believe they still haven't finished that game, okay? So where is the noun or the noun clause? I can't believe they, so they, okay? So I'm saying, I can't believe they, the people, 
still haven't. So they is the noun or the pronoun here, okay? Still is after the noun or the pronoun, okay? But I think you got this one because you're getting the hang of it. Good job. What about this? Have you met anyone famous blank? Have you met anyone famous still? Have you met anyone famous already? Have you met anyone famous yet? Have you met anyone famous just? It's too easy now, right? Yet. Have you met anyone famous yet? Why? Anytime up to now. It's perfectly acceptable to say, have you met anyone famous? But we say yet because it's an adverb of time and we are emphasizing it. We are stressing it. Good job. It's too easy now, right? Okay. What about this one? The teachers have blank prepared their classes. They can't change them. The teachers have still prepared their classes. They can't change them. The teachers have already prepared their classes. They can't change them. The teachers have yet prepared their classes. They can't change them. The teachers have just prepared their classes. They can't change them. Okay, which one? The teachers have already prepared their classes. They can change them. Now, why are we using already? Because it happened earlier. Do you think the teachers just prepared their classes? What, they only did it seconds ago? Or do you think they put some time in it and it happened earlier? That's why it's already. Good job. Hey, what about this one? I guess they've blanked fixed it. Let's check. No, not blank. Ah, we got two of them here. Okay. I guess they've still fixed it. Let's check. No, not still. Okay, I'll let you think about this. Give you a few moments. Okay, what do you think? I guess they've already fixed it. Let's check. No, not. Which one? Yet. Okay, so let's go over this one. I guess they've already fixed it. Happened earlier. Let's check. No, not yet. Okay, think about when you go to get your car repaired or your tire fixed, okay? You had a flat tire and you need to get it fixed, but you're checking on it. So you're wondering, you're guessing, maybe they fixed it already, right? No, I guess they've already fixed it. So you're thinking about it, but we're checking, let's check. No, not yet, meaning it didn't happen up to this time now, okay? Did you get that one? Probably too easy for you. So now you're master in them. Good job. What about this one? It's two again. Have you been to the beach blank? No, not blank. Okay, think about it. Have you been to the beach? Oh, yet, they are both yet, okay? Why? Because we are answering the question. Have you been to the beach yet? No, not yet, okay? Anytime up to now. Okay, here's the bonus. So pay attention to this. I'm doing it again. See, I'm changing the words here. Have you blank been to the beach today? No, not blank. OK, 
Okay. Give you a little time. Time's up. Have you already been to the beach today? Okay. Have you earlier been to the beach today? Have you earlier today been to the beach? Okay. Because I'm saying today it happened. Meaning, did you go to the beach today? No, not yet. Okay. Remember, we are just emphasizing them. You do not have to use these words. These just help you emphasize the time. So people can really, you know, really understand you even better. Have you already been to the beach today? No, not yet. Okay. This is something we say in everyday English language, American style. Okay. Good job. What is this? They blank. Oh, I give it away. They still haven't learned how to use that app. I was too quick on this. I was just so happy that you are perfecting it. Sorry about that. They still haven't learned how to use that app. Now, this is the real, are you paying attention? Why do we use still here? Is it because it's not finished? Yes. And what's the rule? What's this? After the noun or the noun clause, they still haven't learned. We wouldn't say they haven't still learned. We say still after the noun, the pronoun, or the noun clause. Okay? Good job. Aw. Okay, what's going on here? Amazing. Her baby has blank learned his first word. Which one could it be? Her baby has still learned his first word. Her baby has already learned his first word. Her baby has yet learned his first word. Her baby has just learned his first word. Okay, what could it be? Just, why? It was a short time ago because we're announcing it. Amazing. Her baby has just learned his first word. What did the baby say? Da da. It just happened just a short time ago. Good job. Awesome work, everyone. How did you do? If you didn't do so well, don't worry. Just press rewind. It's It'll come naturally eventually if you pronounce it more and you say it more, then you will perfect it. Thank you everyone for joining Catherine's ESL classroom.